Could artificial intelligence be used to make brain surgery safer? At this university in London, trainee surgeon Daniel Khan is taking part in a mock operation, during which he's assisted by a real-time video feed, as is typical in brain surgery. But what's new here is that the footage is being analyzed by AI to help Khan better understand what he's seeing. The AI system, which is under development at University College London, highlights sensitive or critical structures in the brain. Neurosurgeon Hanny Marcus believes it has the potential to make brain surgery safer and more effective. So I'm, I'm very bullish that in the you know, medium to long term, the AI will be helping lots of surgeons do lots of operations better than they otherwise can. Marcus says the AI system analyzed video of more than 200 pituitary gland tumor operations and gained around 10 years worth of experience in a fraction of the time. That knowledge means the AI can now not only help navigate to the correct area of the brain, but also know what should be happening at any stage of the procedure, making it a valuable training aid. What we're really trying to do is apply AI, or artificial intelligence, to support surgeons doing brain tumor surgery at the base of the brain. And what this practically entails is us training the AI with hundreds of videos, telling it, if you like, what structures are what, and then at some point over that period, the AI becomes really good itself at recognizing things and able to support other surgeons who are perhaps less experienced uh, in advising them what to do next. Assistant Professor of Robotics and AI Sophia Bono explains how that might look in a real operation. There can be scenarios where clinicians unintentionally are very close to a very critical structure such as optic nerve. This can have any damage or a slight more pressure on the optic nerve can have long-term uh, complications on the patient side. So the, this whole tool will alert the surgeon during the procedure if uh, there is any risk of potential complications so they can uh, recalibrate themselves during, during the procedure. <laughs> Khan, who was also involved in developing the software that is now helping him learn, says the AI system has been a valuable tool in his training. It could also provide him with step-by-step -step guidance during a procedure, similar to having a senior surgeon standing over your shoulder. I think as I progress as a surgeon, there might be stages where I wonder, um, you know, um, have I done enough of a particular part of the procedure and should I move on? And actually having that sort of assistant in the background as a reassurance to look at and say, well, yeah, actually at this stage, out of the hundreds of videos of experts that this algorithm has watched, the experts would probably start moving on to the next phase. It's, it's, it's a useful double check. According to UCL, the system could be ready to be used in operating theatres within two years. Mm -hmm.